All right, boys. So this is going to be my first video with a webcam. There's going to be a lot more videos with a webcam coming. Uh, it's very cringe to me staring at just a camera. It just, it's just so weird. But yeah, hopefully I get used to it in time and not want to kill myself. But yeah, today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best ARC PvP settings to date. There's not a lot of videos out there that are actually decent. So this is my perspective on what the best settings are. So yeah, let's get into today's video. So the first thing we want to be choosing is a female character. For people asking why, female characters have the smallest hitbox out of the male and the female character. The male character has a faster melee attack speed, so hitting trees and knocking people out is a lot more faster but with a female character the hitbox is a lot smaller so it's harder to hit so first of all what you want to do is you basically want to drag everything to the left obviously the color and all that is personal preference so you want to drag everything to the left the chest the shoulders everything like that and then when you get to the arms you want to make your hands really really big and your arm length really really big and then the rest all the way down the reason for that is, as you can see, the arms and the hands are covering somewhat a lot of the legs. So when you're getting shot, nine times out of 10, they're gonna be hitting your gauntlets. So then it protects your legs quite a lot. So once that is done, you want to create your survivor. So now that we have created our survivor, we wanna to go to the settings tab. And the first thing we're gonna be doing is the music. So a lot of people just, tend to leave the music tab alone but one of the most important things on here is ambient volume so as you can see i've got ambient volume all the way down so if we turn ambient volume on you'll be able to hear like the wind the waves and like little crickets and seagulls and all that stuff and it's just basically things that you don't need to hear so we want to turn that off and as you can tell the difference you just can't hear anything so if some bob is coming up behind you with a bowler, you can actually be able to hear him running. So you want to make sure that is turned off. Uh, NPC volume, I turn that off too. That's just like Helena, so you don't have to hear an annoying voice. And then the next thing we want is a resolution. The resolution should always be what your monitor is. So this monitor I'm playing on is a 1920 by 1080. So you want to turn that up to that. And then you want full screen. Full screen is best for FPS. And then we go to graphics quality, just put that on custom. Resolution scale. Resolution scale should always be to the max. So if we got it to the max, obviously it looks like that. If we got the resolution scale down like this, as you can see, it looks like I'm playing on a Nintendo and everything is blurry and we don't want that. So we want to click apply on that. World title buffers, you want that on low. View distance, that has definitely got to be on low. As you can see here, Actually, I'll show you real quick. So we've got it on Epic. As you can see, we could probably see like all them trees and, and all that stuff like rock structures. Let me go into GCM real quick. Let's go find a rock. So as you can see, all these trees all the way down there, you don't want to be seeing them because someone, someone could be behind, hiding behind that rock right there and you can't see them. So if you turn view distance to low, now all them rocks and basically everything across there, all them rocks have gone. So now if someone was there, you'd be able to see them prone behind the rocks. People mistake this setting to be, if you've got your view distance on low, then you can't see people or you can't see bases. You can, that's just, it basically just affects like rocks and like stuff in the game, not structures. So foundations and all that stuff still load in, just not like rocks. So on the, onto the next setting, we want anti-aliasing on low, post-processing, low. Shadows, low. Terrain, low. And then textures. Textures is personal preference. You'd probably want it on like medium. Obviously, the lower you have it, the more FPS you get. Sky quality. You definitely want that on the lowest. That gets rid of all the clouds, which is not needed. So the next setting we want to turn down is ground cluster density, distance, and mesh level of detail. All them need to be down. And then all these middle tabs, these need to be off as well. This affects FPS and visibility by a lot especially light bloom and light shafts you definitely definitely want them off or else you're going to be staring it to the sun while you're pvping and the next one is camera shake scale we want that all the way down camera fov you want that up that's personal preference but for pvp you want it up because you want to see around you and then obviously the sensitivity that's totally up to you and then two of the main ones that i have to tell a lot of people to turn on or off like depending who it is 
is third person camera offset and disable third person camera implementation. So with these off, as you can see here, when I wiggle my mouse, it's like, it's not centered, like it sways. So my character's centered here. So if I, if I went to get a Fabi, so if I got this Fabi out now, it changed to the right hand side of my screen. See how it changes like that? But basically when you do that, that can mess you up in PvP. So if we turn these on, and I click apply, and then when we run around, it doesn't sway at all. And if you notice now, when, when I'm standing still, it's constantly on the right hand side of my screen. So if I'm running and PvPing, and I get my Fabi out, it's not going to move my camera to the right hand side of the screen. It's always going to stay to the right. So it's not going to mess you up. It's not going to mess your aim up or anything like that. It's not going to sway. So my personal preference and opinion is you should definitely have these on. So going into the advanced settings tab, this one is a big, big deal. Uh, so many people I've seen with this option off and it's actually insane. So disable menu transitions. This needs to be on at all times. So if I show you real quick what this does. So if I'm running and for instance, one of my flak armor breaks and I go into my inventory, you see the you see how slow the inventory loads. It's actually so slow. So if I go to the advanced settings tab and turn this on, say my my legs break and I want to switch them, it instantly loads the inventory like virtually instant. The amount of people that I've seen with this off is insane, and having this on will just make your life a lot better, and everything will be a lot faster. The next few settings is no tooltip delay. We want that on. So that shows you basically if you've got something, say this Fabi, I want to know what it is. It's um, primitive, crafted, blah, blah, blah. It comes up instant like, like that. If you want to turn that off, then you can turn it off so it doesn't, it doesn't show. The next settings we want on and off is we want inventory access sounds off just because it's annoying. Melee camera anim animation, you want that off so your screen doesn't go all dodgy when you're swinging your pickaxe or whatever. So the next setting we want on is join notifications. So then we can see if we are offline in a base and they come on, then we know they're going to be on because it'll pop up at the top of the screen. The next one is camera view, Bob. We want that off. So when we're running again, our screen is not shaking. And then we want torpidity effect. We want that off. So our screen doesn't go all dodgy when we're getting tranked. We know we're getting tranked. We don't want to have any visual effects because it's just annoying. So basically that's it now for the arc settings or if you just want to be a pvp chad and want to, be able to see everything then you can have eye and eye on as well so we're going to go into that right boys on to the next settings we want to go to arc on steam properties and then we want to copy and paste these they'll be down below in the description i can't remember what they do but they give you a lot more fps and just make the game look better in general so now for the eye and eye side of things as we're on this tab we want to go to local files browse and then you want to go to engine config and then you want to go to console variables it should look a bit like this if you've never changed your ini so you just want to delete all of this then down below in the description will be my ini so we just want to open my ini here you want to copy this and then you want to paste it into your console variables file and then save and after that you just want to launch up arc all right, boys, so now we're loading in with the Iron Knight. So as you can see, half of the trees are not loading in and the branches off the trees are not loaded in. Some of the bushes aren't loading in. This is basically just helps your FPS by a lot. Um, also in the water, everything's clear. So you don't have to like see that blue tint in the water. This is like for hardcore PVP players that don't want to see a thing. Uh, some things will come in the way of this. You may get like little rocks that won't load in with I and I. Um, but I mean, if you know the game, you can get around that pretty easily. But this is like the best I and I for PvP. It's hard I and I. Some resources won't load, but obviously, if you know where they are, then you don't really need to see them. Like polymer and aberration, uh, sometimes that won't load. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. If there's anything that you think I missed, comment down below. And yeah, don't roast me too hard. This is my first webcam video, so uh, I'll catch you in the next one.